The topic of this lesson is linear function graphs, and I had a student named Drina write in a question about how the vertical line test works. So we're going to use her question and talk about the vertical line test a little bit here uh, as it relates to linear function graphs. Linear function graphs. Sorry for repeating myself. I have to say something while I write to make it make it seem like I'm doing something else. <laughs> So linear function graphs are graphs of linear functions. Now, a linear function is a specific kind of relation. A graph, of course, is a, a pictorial representation of a relation. It shows how one thing compares to another as the values of one go up or down. Now, a linear function is that special kind of a relation where there's one output for each and every input. So if I have a specific input, there is a specific associated output for it. And what that means, uh, in case you didn't catch the lesson on linear functions, that means if, for instance, I have four values that could be put into my function, whatever it happens to be, values A, B, C, and D, if my four outputs are, say, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and my four inputs are A, B, C, and D, this could be a function because each individual input has one and only one output. Now, if my four inputs were A, B, A, and D, and my four outputs were 2, 3, 4, and 5, now I don't know whether A really should be 2 or should be 4 based on whatever particular question I'm asking. So this is an example of something that is not a function, not a function. Now if I were to look at these two associations on a graph, let's call the letter values the x values and the number values the y values. So A2 would be right here. We'll use this one as white and I'll recolor this one over here. B3 would be right here. C4 and D5. So we kind of get this line right here, this, this sort of straight linear expression right here, going from the lower left to the upper right. Sorry for my sketching ability, I'm not an artist. Then if we take the other points and compare it, compare them right here, we'll do this in orange, yeah? Take these values and graph them, well A is 2 again, so we get a point here, and B is 3, but then A is also 4, we have another point up here, and then D is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, so this one gets duplicated right here, yeah? So we have, this one has, wouldn't really graph as a line at all, we'd have, you know, our two points connected here, and then we'd jump back this way, and then go back over this way, so it's kind of a funky sort of a shape. But more importantly, from the concept of the vertical line test, with our white line, Anywhere I draw a line vertically that passes through that is only going to hit a single point. I hit this point right here. I hit this point right here, and so on. Anywhere I go, I will only hit a single point on that line. However, with the orange line right here, when I draw a vertical line, I hit two points. Oops, that wasn't a very good orange line, now was it? I don't know why it didn't come out orange, but it sure didn't. Let's try that again. So with my orange line, when I draw a line right down through here, I hit those two points at the same time. So that graph, that function, fails the vertical line test. So there, that's how you can see visually whether something is a function or not. If you draw a straight line through the graph vertically and you hit two points, then it's this situation right here, and it is not a function.